Welcome to PlayStation VR. If you've already unboxed your PSVR, all these components are lying around your room. Here's how to put it together into your very own virtual reality system. If you have the CUH ZVR2, you'll first need to connect the stereo headphones to your VR headset. When you're not using your headphones, use the earpiece holders on your VR headset to store them out of the way. If you have the CUH ZVR1, the stereo headphones plug into the jack on the inline remote. Your own studio quality, noise cancelling, bass dropping headphones are fine too. No offense taken. You should already have a PlayStation camera connected to your PS4 and hopefully a PS4 connected to your TV. First step, disconnect the HDMI cable from the back of your PS4 and plug it into the back of the processor unit, leaving the other end plugged into the TV. Next, take the PSVR HDMI cable labeled number one and use that to connect the processor unit to your PS4. You'll also need to connect them with the USB cable labeled number 2 by plugging one end into the PS4 or PS4 Pro and the other end into the back of the processor unit. Now let's get powered up. Connect the AC power cord to the AC adapter labeled number 3. Plug the other end of the AC adapter into the back of the processor unit and the free end of the AC power cord into your favorite wall outlet. Now, you will connect the VR headset to the front of the processor unit. Line up the symbols on the plugs with the symbols over the ports and plug them in. If you have the CUH ZVR1, you'll use the VR headset connection cable labeled number 4. Slide back the front right side of the processor unit to open the ports. Line up the symbols on the plugs with the symbols over the ports and plug them in. Then slide the cover back. The other end plugs into the VR headset's cord labeled number 5. Make sure that the symbols line up here as well. Take a moment to make sure everything's hooked up right. Okay, now let's turn on your TV, then your PS4, and PlayStation VR last. You'll know everything's connected properly when the tracking lights on the back of the headset start glowing blue. When that happens, stand back for a moment and admire your work. You now have a virtual reality system in your home, all ready to go. All that's left is to get you ready in part three of this tutorial.